in provost uh, uh, nikhil bhai and a good friend of mine uh, ramesh bhai again a good friend of mine and uh, registrar come director administration of gsfc university the uh, faculty members from both school of technology and school of management gsfc university uh, request each and every participant to participate because 1920 and 2021 especially to children and students have been very harsh years they have deprived you from a very challenging exercise a challenging annual exercise that each student looks forward to when he appears or sits for a competitive examination be it the 10th board be it the 12th board or be it any other competitive examination since uh, the pandemic has deprived you of uh, uh, the competitive examinations i thought let me help you revisit the competitive edge and competitive urges and competitive juices that you young children would have in you with the help of some quizzes so we'll have back to back as many as four quizzes coming up so that each of you is invited to participate in this quiz and together let us understand what lessons hr holds for us in this vuca world what are the changing career landscapes as far as students willing to join or willing to opt for hr as a profession are concerned so here goes the first ever quiz i would request each one of you to type out your answers in the chat box and based on the response in the chat box i'll move ahead so here goes the first quiz are you all ready can i see your hands going up or can i can i see a yes from your side in the chat box okay here is the first quiz and uh, let me have your answers whether this is what they they taught tell me whether this is what they taught you either in business administration or business studies uh, a paper that you studied in class 12 uh, whether it was class 12 general or class 12 commerce whether this is what they taught you here are your options whether functions of management as described in your textbooks in class 12 meant production marketing finance and staff let me look at your answers yes or no you can type out your answers in the chat box go to chat box great so most of you feel that this is what ah uh, avni universal tech manas v mistri arpita okay great 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 ashok no okay kamini yes aneri yes uh, vanraj yes ruchi yes fine so probably this is what was taught to you since i am finding most answers saying yes to all those four options that production finance uh, staff etc were the functions that were taught to you as functions of management now we move on to quiz number 2 i hope you all are ready for quiz number 2 so let us let us go to quiz number 2 here here we go quiz number 2 let us try and understand what does vuca mean let me tell you vuca is an acronym an acronym is something which is a short form for a full word v would stand for one particular word u would stand for one particular word c would stand for one particular word and a would stand for one particular word here i am making life a bit easy for you i'll give you four options for v and you have to type out in the chat box what is your understanding of v so here are the four options for v is it voluntary is it volatile is it violent or is it visible let me have your answers in the chat box move to the chat box please voluntary volatile volatile 
voluntary, volatile, volatile, visible, ah, volatile, voluntary, volatile, volatile, not sure, that's good, volatile, volatile, not sure, oh, so most of you feel that V stands for volatile, okay, we, we, will, we will have the answer for sure, before that, let us try and understand what are the options at U, and the options at U are, is it unstable, is it ubiquitous, is it under, or is it uncertain? Let me see your answers in the chat box. What is the option that you have selected? Under, uncertain, 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 under, uncertain, uncertain. Wonderful. Most of you feel it is uncertain or not sure. Ashok, Ashok feels it. He is not sure. Pranav Prajapati uncertain. Bhavsar uncertain. Great. I think you already feel that you are sitting in a, a KBC show. That's great. That's great. Let us see uh, what, what is the correct answer. But before that, let us try and understand what are the options we have at C. Let us move on to C. C, the options are, is it change, is it challenge, is it complex, or is it common? Let me see your response in the chat box. Complex, 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 common, complex. Okay, so most of you feel it is complex. Uh, some of you feel it is challenge, okay? Challenge, challenge, or oh, quite a few votes for challenge also. Most votes for complex. Wonderful, wonderful. We'll get the right answer. Before that, let us see what options do we have at A. And your options are, is it ambiguous? Is it amiable? Is it abnormal? Or is it adapt? Let us see your responses in the chat box. Ah, most of you feel it is ambiguous, 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 brilliant. So most of you feel it is ambiguous. Now it's time for the correct answers. And before I go to the correct answers, let me assure that most of you have, have come up with the right options. Most of you. Volatile is what most of you uh, uh, had opted for and that's the correct answer so the acronym VUCA V stands for volatile U stands for uncertain again a reply or option that most of you had chosen C stands for complex again most of you chose this as an option and A stands for ambiguous so VUCA means a world which sees a lot of volatility, a world which throws up so much of uncertainty. You just do not know what is in store for you the next moment. You just do not know what is in store for you uh, the next year, the next month, the next week. Nobody ever thought that pandemic would push us so much the last two years. Nobody knew that the world would become so volatile, people would become so volatile to each other. Nobody knew. Nobody knew that this world can be as complex as this. We never knew that it would come up, come up with so much of ambiguity, that we just do not know answers to our questions. We only have questions, we only have problems, we only have challenges, we only have complexities, we only have ambiguities, we only have uncertainties but no answers. So this is the VUCA world. Now we move to quiz number three. And quiz number three, again, I'll give you options. There is one more option which I have not put, but you can exercise that option. And that option is anything other than what options I'm going to give you at quiz number three. It can be uncertain also as an option. It can be not sure as an option. It can be an altogether different career as an option. And you can type out in the chat box 
वंस आई गिव यू दी ऑप्शन माई ड्रीम जॉब और कैरियर इज इन एंड रिमेंबर दिस ऑप्शन आई एम गिविंग टू पीपल नोइंग दैट दीज आर दर्सन who have a background of commerce or who have a background of a general stream or who have a background of humanities the career choice can be i am not saying should be i am not saying is i am not saying will be i am saying can be the career choice can be finance can be hr can be public relations and networking it can be marketing it can be advertising and communications or as i said it can be neither of these five let me see what you type out in the chat box what are the career options my dear friends hr 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 advertising and marketing marketing finance entrepreneurship hr finance marketing hr finance finance hr marketing great 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 good to have so many oh finance and supply chain management wonderful uh, that was ashwini sharma khushboo says it is hr okay let me have few more uh, options few more few more uh, replies in the chat box hr so most people seem to be opting okay finance oper operations that's wonderful hr seems to be taking the lead okay financial planning oh uh, bhavsar seems to be very clear in finance it is financial planning that he chooses as a career wonderful wonderful uh, for hate it is operations again hate it is investment banker also okay so he has two career choices hr and recruitment in hr says jit marketing along with advertising says ruchi good 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 so let us go back advertising and marketing says ankita wonderful so let us go back to the quiz go back to the quiz i had suggested about five dream jobs or dream careers and there have been certain specializations in each like somebody mentioned recruitment in hr somebody mentioned banking or investment planning in finance uh, as we move ahead another 20 minutes or so i'll try and explain to you how how a course in business administration <coughs> how bba from gssc university or wherever you choose to learn from uh, how a specialization in hr would help you touch upon each of these career choices that you have tick mark but before that as i mentioned we have back to back four quizzes we come with the fourth quiz for today and here we go the fourth quiz fourth quiz is you have to as as i as i saw so many of you opting for hr from the replies that i saw in the chat box many of you opting for hr and even some of them super specialization in the sense that in hr somebody mentioned recruitment so i have put few few functions of hr here and i would request you to arrange them in correct order here you will find five functions or sub functions or sub systems of hr that have been arranged randomly though they have been given given um, a number from 1 to 5 and they appear in chronology the numbers appear in chronology not the not the content so you have to you have to think about the correct chronology so <coughs> you will you will see five options in quiz 4 and you have to give the correct chronology this would remind you of fastest finger fast these are all jumbled up uh, answers and you have to give the correct chronology so here we go i give you i give you the options with numbers but they are not the correct chronology you have to type out the correct chronology in the chat box and here we go these are your options so these are five sub systems or five sub functions of hr and you have to give the correct chronology from 1 to 5 from 1 to 5 you have to give the correct chronology whether it is 2 5 4 whether it is 1 3 5 i do not know Uh, but yes, computer G definitely knows. So let me see your response in the chat box. 
give the correct chronology you can type out the numbers only Four three five one two four five one three two five three five one two four three five one two one four five three okay four five four three five one two four three five one two four three five one two okay. Four three five one two. Okay, so most replies, the options are four three five one two. Okay, so let us let us look at the correct replies. What are the correct correct answers? Is it four five three one two or four three five one two? Let us let us look at the correct replies. Yes. So the correct reply would be. Four, three, five, one, and no. Four, three, five, one, and two. So all those who replied four, three, five, one, two, hearty congratulations! You already appear to me as outstanding HR professionals in the making. most of you have answered this quiz correctly now coming to the brass tacks now coming to the main purpose of this presentation having squeezed your brains having quizzed you having wrecked your brains let us now try and understand the purpose behind this webinar the purpose behind uh, uh, investing this evening amongst you all youngsters and would be wonderful professionals doesn't matter whether you become hr professionals you make a, become finance professionals you become advertising and marketing professionals or you become out and out marketing professionals the bottom line or the or the buzzword is that you must become outstanding professionals in whichever career you finally decide to join the pandemic my dear children as i mentioned the last two years have been very harsh on you as students it has been harsh on your parents it has been harsh on the society it has been harsh on corporates it has been harsh on each and every living being on planet earth hr cannot be excused hr cannot be out of this so what has the pandemic taught hr and why this shift in change why the provost of gsfc university thought of changing hr landscape in this vuka world the answers you will find in the next few slides the pandemic my dear friends as you all know has been a practice run for the future of hr has been a torch bearer for revisiting several practices in hr has has uh, uh, made so many hr leaders reason out look again at the practices and policies that were time tested that were well settled that were well received in the organizations to now be revisited one more time but before that my first quiz if you all remember was on functions of business what are the functions of business as taught to you in 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 your business administration or business studies uh, class 12 test books and how hr as a function has transited um, uh, most of you correctly replied all four and from that four staff was the was the function that was being described in the text books the 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 transition of hr has come a long way it has come a long way and seen decades of growth the staff function was usually managed by a gentleman known as a labor officer labor officer because organizations um, in the in the several decades from today past decades from today had less of technology had less of automation and organizations were labor intensive what of manpower intensive and hence there would be there would be a gentleman known as labor officer who would regulate the the entry exit and stay of laborers in an organization 
so that was the initial phase of hr a labor officer then became known as a welfare officer when several legislations several regulations came into being to regulate the working conditions the other conditions the life of a workman in an organization so the transition from a labor officer to a welfare officer to an admin officer because then it was all about administration whether the canteens are fine whether the uniforms have been taken care of whether the uh, uh, work places have proper sanitize uh, uh, sanitation they have proper ventilation whether the lights are in order uh, uh, the legislations like factories act etc mandated on the organizations to look at this so these were all administrative activities so we had a labor officer who transited to a welfare officer who transited to an administration officer who transited to a personal and administration officer personal here would mean staff and as i said uh, uh, a few minutes ago early industries were largely less automated less technology oriented and and were labor intensive so the staff functions had to be looked at looked at in the administration functions had be um, were uh, required to be looked at so together we had a gentleman known as the personnel and administration officer or personnel and administration uh, manager here the spelling of personnel is not p e r o s n a l that's personnel personnel is different from personnel this is p e r s o d l e n e l Uh, an administration officer finally in in past few decades when i say past few decades means last uh, uh, three decades or so has graduated in somebody known as a human resources professional or human resources of officer so the transition of hr as a function transition of hr as a profession transition of hr as a career has come a long way from labor officer to being an hr officer and hr officer mainly mainly would mind his business on the following functions so which were which are these functions it is well being of an employee and his family so going beyond employee going reaching out to to the family members being a psychologist for the employee being a mental health specialist for the employee now it is not necessary for the hr person to play all the roles he can also seek help and play the role of a psychologist <coughs> he can hire help of a mental health expert he can hire help of a holistic development coach but the bottom line is that the role of facilitating each of these functions would lie with the hr he is the hr technology expert he is the hr technology and people analytics expert nowadays everything operates out of our palm laptops are passe palm tops and your palm tops are your smartphones your smartphones uh, virtually and literally and actually and seriously run your lives so hr also looks at hr technology and analytics and hr also creates a hybrid workplace what is a hybrid workplace we will see in the uh, uh, slides that would follow but for a young professional or or a budding professional who is willing to first study to become a to to have a good career now the studies can be bba can be mba can be engineering uh, can be humanities Uh, can be science it can be anything but what would a professional who intends to begin his career in an organization uh, look out for in an organization what is an what is the definition of an irresistible organization for uh, a budding professional an irresistible organization must afford a young uh, professional a place which gives him meaningful work a place which is managed by a strong purposive management a place which which uh, gives out lot of positive vibes a workplace wherein a person feels like spending long hours 
not because the boss says so but the 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 place is so positive give gives out so many positive vibes that the person does not feel like looking out of the window or, or rushing to rushing back to his uh, uh, home his or her home once the uh, official working hours are over an organization a place which would look at the health and well being of the budding mm. professional an organization which would afford and throw open lot of growth opportunities or at least make the the, the young professional feel that or n number of growth opportunities in the organization and an organization which builds a culture culture of trust so if this is an irresistible organization my dear friends who all are who are, all have joined this webinar to read a course in bba more so to read a course in bba with specialization in hr must to know that their role would mean to create an organization that gives meaningful work that gives a sense of strong management that 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 uh, gives positive vibes takes care of the health and well being of of its employees throws up ample opportunities to grow and builds a culture of trust in an organization so let us see whether if this is what the organization of today or tomorrow means how are you as would be Uh, uh students of bba in hr or mba in hr uh, be equipped to build this kind of organization what 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 uh, uh, hr means in these times in not only in this pandemic times but in the changing landscape of hr per se not today not tomorrow but in times to come the pandemic response that the organizations suddenly woke up to or were forced to or were made to uh, provide its employees were three prone were primarily primarily projected at three areas focused on three areas one is health and well being you have seen that in the irresistible organization criteria health and well being is one another is business agility and change and third is adaptive transformation health and well being if i take you back one more time to the previous slide you'll be able to see you'll be able to see yes here it is health and well being business agility and change if if i take you back to the acronym vuca vuca meant volatile uncertain uh, complex and ambiguous now my dear children you will have to you will have to learn with living in a vuca world you will have to learn to to meet up with the challenges of a vuca world and you will also have to learn to grow in this vuca world vuca is going to remain as as uh, they would have taught you in class 10 in science classes that the k is the only constant the same way in this world uh, vuca is the only constant so as hr would be hr professionals who want to ready uh, who want to uh, study and read a course in hr you will have to make your organizations vuca ready and to do to to do so you have to you have to come up with uh, uh, hr policies and practices that adapt to the vuca challenges that adapt to the vuca complexities that adapt to the vuca uncertainties and what are those uh, new age policies and practices is, um, is it reinventing the work is it reinventing the wheel if it is reinventing the wheel yes and let me tell you reinventing the wheel not once or twice reinventing the wheel several times is it about jobs yes is it about the talent practices yes what are this what are some of these practices we 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 uh, uh, my role today would only be to sensitize you to this uh, subject and topic so i would i would be briefly touching upon some of them not all 
so uh, i i'll i'll just touch upon some of the innovative hr practices that have seen the light of the day because one this is a vuka world and two the pandemic uh, uh, has made us look at these things there is something called water cooler chats as an innovative practice a water cooler chat is a time during your work schedule during your during your official working time where you informally connect for informal chats informal discussions with your colleagues not necessarily your department colleagues it can be cross functional colleagues also marking and prior prioritizing your work and your work times accordingly flexi hours for example is is a norm of the day many organizations resorted to flexi hours a decade ago or a, or more than a decade ago but now many many more organizations have joined this and i have given you an example of an organization which is a, a government kind of an organization cripco is krishak bharti cooperatives if an organization which has a bureaucratic structure also feels the need of introducing flexi hours you can understand um, uh, what what uh, uh, vuka world means to hr and its practices wfh is the new normal work from home is the new normal uh, but then it comes with its side effects also but right now we will not discuss the side effects but almost almost 70 80 or uh, if if i may say more than 90% of the it and ites ites is it enabled service industry it and ites industry over 90% is on the wfh mode now then there is something about ensuring mental health and well being we have seen this we have discussed about this in health and well being uh organizations are now uh, uh, engaging full time mel uh, mental health uh, facilitators and here please do not get me wrong mental health has nothing to do with iq of an uh, of an individual it is all to do with temporary stress that an uh, an individual experiences and the facilitator or help that comes across from the organization um i uh, um, the case in point here is that uh, this particular organization helped its employees raise a community kitchen by by uh, helping them grow vegetable in their own residences and did the csr now these are the next gen practices these are different practices this is reaching out beyond the employee connection reaching out beyond the organizational roles rules regulations and responsibilities setting up virtual group of employees for uh, for the work from home parents uh, i don't know how relevant this example would be but the the next generation will have to wake up to realities of fractured families there was a time when families took pride in being joint families the joint families broke up and became unitary families unitary families would mean at least husband and spouse living together joint families would mean husband spouse parents brothers sisters uh, uh, sometimes even cousins living together now these are the times of fractured families fractured families i i am still not uh, sure whether the example i am about to share is, how relevant is that that example but if uh, the name amir khan clicks to you if the name rithik roshan clicks to you both these gentlemen have separated from their spouses but for the sake of their children they are the parenting is common while both these gentlemen do not live under the same roof as man and wife they share the same space as parents to their children so there the, the this would be a, a next gen challenge to hr and hr policies will have to realign or recast to meet with 
fractured families. This is what I call, define as fractured families. Now, some very, very new age terms that most of you would uh, uh, be hearing for the first time or would have heard these uh, terms but may not know really what these terms mean but yes these are the terms these are the persons these are the concepts that the new age hr has to live up to has to build has to nurture has to amend has to alter and has to uh, promote uh, let me let me go back to the chat box one more time since I'm uh, nearing my uh, presentation uh, and uh, and uh, uh, want to want to know from you people how many of you have simply heard about chief happiness officer as a term or read about it somewhere please please give me your responses in the chat box please let me have your responses in the chat box how many of you have heard about the term chief happiness officer none it seems none okay not heard good no 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 oh heard first time only no okay i'll give you one more term and let me let me know from uh, from your responses in the chat box whether you have heard about this term okay a chief happiness officer i'll briefly tell you is responsible to 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 engage manage nurture and maintain the happiness levels of persons in an organization people in an organization the human resources in an organization now let me know how many of you have heard about the term chief mindfulness officer you can type out your responses in the chat box okay upadhyay okay yes yes okay no yes no yes no 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 great 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 so i'll tell you what a chief mindfulness officer would mean a chief mindfulness officer is a strategist who integrates mindfulness into organization. And if you remember a few slides ago, I had mentioned something about mental well-being. A chief mindfulness officer would full time be in the job only of ensuring the mental well-being of human resources in an organization. The third term. How many of you have heard about chief belief officer? Please type out your responses in the chat box. Chief Belief Officer. Yes, Ashwini has heard. Wonderful. Ankita also knows about it. Great. Uh, okay. Yes, 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 yes. No, no. Okay. No, no. Dwani says no. First time hearing. Wonderful. No, no. Great, great, great. So let uh, so uh, let me tell you what a chief belief officer is. A chief belief officer's job is to turn employer belief into employee belief. This has more to do about building, raising, nurturing, maintaining, promoting a culture in the organization, which is a culture as dreamt by the employer when he when he built this organization so whether what the employer believes should be the culture of organization is also the belief of the employee it has more to do with the value system of an organization it has more to do with culture building in an organization it has more to do with ethics building in an organization the employer belief and employee belief should be in parity this is that is what a chief belief officer does next one is Chief experience officer. Now let us see how many of you have heard about a chief experience officer. Please type out your responses in the chat box. Oh, I already have so many no's. Yes, 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 no, 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 no. Great. So let us see what a chief experience officer role is in an organization 
a chief experience officer is responsible for company's overall experience how how the what kind of experience a company gives to its stakeholders here stakeholders would mean internal stakeholders and external stakeholders a stakeholder can be a shareholder can be a customer can be a client can be a vendor can be an employee any and every person is the role of a chief experience officer and the last one is a chief well being officer let me have your responses how many of you have heard about a chief well being officer yes yes okay yes 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 wonderful wonderful no yes no yes 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 so a good number of people have heard about uh, a chief well being officer um, uh, pleasure to know that now let us see what a chief well being officer's role is a chief well being officer focuses on all aspects of well being of employees if you if you remember in one of the previous slides somewhere i had mentioned holistic development of an individual holistic development of an employee in an organization the chief well being officer job is to ensure holistic development of an employee so my dear children all those who want to study or want to opt uh, for hr as a career this is the next gen hr policy policy practice and uh, uh, rules that you have to look out for and now we would have heard that an engineer becomes a managing director a technocrat becomes a managing director a marketing person becomes a managing director uh, or a ceo ceo is a chief executive officer of an organization we have heard so many times that uh, a finance man a chartered accountant becomes the ceo but most of us feel that a chro a chro is chief human resource officer a chief human resource officer whether he makes it to the boardroom or not and most of us have uh, listened or or heard that very rarely a chro makes to the boardroom rather most of us feel that a that a personal and administration officer or an a human resource officer or a human resource chief never makes it to the boardroom i want to break that myth today i want to make you feel realize and think how important hr as a function in an organization is with help of few deshi examples when i say deshi means i would share indian examples uh, to 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 share that yes a human resource background or a person who chooses human resource as a career also can make it to the boardroom and here are those examples and these are all mind you indian examples and uh, i am fine if you google out and check back or check out whether what i am mentioning is true or not dr santrupt mishra is ceo of birla, birla carbon and director group human resources for aditya birla group he has been in the hr domain for long and uh, subsequent to his being an hr professional a lifelong hr professional he also is a ceo at birla carbon leena nayar is uh, unilever chro and she also is an ex executive director of hindustan unilever and vp hr south asia so she is vp hr south asia ex executive director of hul where she was uh, 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 she was responsible for functions other than hr also rajan datta is managing director earlier he was managing partner partner uh, he is in the role of ceo as managing director but is an ex reliance president corporate hr again from corporate Uh, again from hr domain mandeep maitra she is a consultant and coach and head of academy of design thinking and entrepreneurship consultancy uk earlier she was country head human resources 
एट एच डी एफ सी नंदिता गुर्जर इज एन इंडिपेंडेंट डिरेक्टर इन बिरला सॉफ्ट एन एक्स इन्फोसिस ग्लोबल एच आर हेड बट नाउ इन अ डिफरेंट रोल ऑल टूगेदर शी हेज मेड इट टू द बोर्ड रूम सो इफ यू चूज एच आर एज अ कैरियर ऑप्शन इट इज द राइट थिंग दैट यू हैव थॉट ऑफ इज ऑल दैट आई कैन टेल यू एज द सीनियर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज ऑफ वन ऑफ द वन ऑफ द मोस्ट outstanding performing organization promoted by government of gujarat that is gujarat state fertilizers and chemicals limited uh, that is that is all from my desk uh, have a great weekend have a great uh, career uh, do choose hr as a career if you have already made up your mind do choose bba as a first step towards hr as a career and if all this is what you have in mind gsfc university is the place to be Thank you one and all